to Easter special, okay? Let's get ready for Easter. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to show you, we're going to do this basket that I did. This is uh, done with jute, as you can see. It has a little pom-pom tail here. I just put two eyes and a nose and a bow and two ears. And you can put your Easter eggs inside here like this, okay? So. Yeah. So here is your basket. It's a bunny basket. We're doing this. I did it in jute. And now I'm going to show you how we'll do it with another color. I'm going to use this for the basket. And I'm going to use this color for the ears and the tail. Okay. So coming back to the basket, what I did is I'm going to give you the measurements and the picture of how I laid down uh, the cords for this as well as separately for the ears. So I took one of the cords out of the 30, I think. Yeah, 30 cords that I cut. I took one and I made lark heads. Now, when I made lark heads, you all know how to make a lark head. But it is a double lark head, which means... I've taken one cord, made the lock head. I'm going to do this again. I took this and made the lock head. This is how I made the lock head. And you know how to make a lock head. Throw it over and put these under. Okay. Here, this is a lock head. Yeah. So when you put this under, then you take this side one, put it here. And take this side one and put it here. So this you get a double. So you get one on the left, one on the right. So I made all of them like this here. And I have them here. Okay. Now how do we join this together? We join this to start our square knots. This is what I've done just now. And to join this, then we start with our square knots, okay? So, I have eggs falling all over the place. Okay, so now let's join this to make it round. Put this together. Join it here together. Now you take the last cord which I left here. Take the always take the two ends. So you get the center and work on the center from the center. Take this, take these two together like this, and you make a square knot here. And pull it up. So now I've got this. Yeah. This is going to be the opening of the basket. And now let's start with our square knots. Taking four. One, two, three, four, and you do your C and D, okay? Keep on for the whole round. Can you see that? This is one, then we'll do two here. Second, take the next. You do one whole round and then next round will be in between, yeah? Two from here and two from there and then you go on. 
just to complete the basket. Let's put the next four. And then the next four, I hope Aldrin can fast forward this line and the other lines too, so that you don't have to wait to see the simple thing that you know. Think they come to the last yes so we've done we've done one one line okay now when you go doing the second line take this is one and this is one right so you take two from here two from here and you do this middle then you take the next two it will be in the middle so you're doing the second round like this, okay? So the whole round again. I hope you can see. So I've done two now in the second line and these are the two. Let me show it to you. Yeah, can you see it clearly? So you've got four and four, one, two, three, four. Yeah. So we're going to the next. We'll take two from this one and two from this one. That was the first. Now we're making the second line. So we've done two on the second line and this is the third, okay? I can write this down for you, point by point. See, now we've done three. So let's go to the next one. So you carry on the second line throughout, okay? So we are starting the third line. And it's the same as the second line. Take two from here and two from the other. Keep on going round, okay?
So now what I did was the first line, the second line, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and on the eighth line, just do seven lines. After you do seven lines of just your square knot, then you take a bottle or something that's round. Guess what I'm taking? What's this? Okay, it's brandy. <laughs> no, I don't drink. But I'm going to put this brandy bottle so that I can work on the bottom of it. Okay, otherwise it's quite difficult. So what did I tell you? You've got seven lines. Once you reach the seven lines and you have eat some kind of shape you can put in, whatever. If you don't want to put in a bottle, no problem. You put in anything else, okay, that has a round shape and will fit into your uh, basket just to hold it and to work on the bottom. So you've got these seven lines here and now you're going to work towards the bottom. What you're going to do is, I'm trying to now, I can't keep this standing like this because it's going to fall. Mm, I can hold it in between my thighs. Let me just, one moment. So I just put it around the bottle and I'm going to turn the bottle upside down so that I do the bottom part, okay? That's the end of the basket, the main basket. So we're going to turn this upside down. See that the cap is securely closed. Otherwise, you'll have rain or whatever's inside. So what we're going to do now, turn your bottle and divide uh, these cords into 12, 12 cords into five sections. Okay, so I'm going to take one section now. So let me just take 12. See what I'm going to do with these 12? So I'll just take 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. The closest 12. Okay. There you are. So what I'm going to do here with this is I'll keep it opposite these 12. And I'm going to start with the center of it. So let me keep six, three and three, six, the side and three and three, six, the side. So I'm going to do with the middle four. Okay. Just see how I'm doing this, please. Keep this at the side here. And start your, this is at the edge of the bottle. Yeah, this is at the edge of the bottle because you're coming down now you're going to do the bottom of the basket so here you are making a square knot at the edge but just underneath yeah so one square knot please pay attention keep the c and d out on top Take the next two, okay? And the, the lazy girls will remain the same. Just keep them down. Take the next two, make another square knot. With the same lazy girls, you're going to do this with each section, each of the five sections, okay? Just make four square knots on each section with the same lazy girls but with different C and D. I'm keeping this away. Take the next two. Same lazy girls, different working girls. One, two. What are we doing? We are going to do the bottom of the basket. Keep the lazy girls. Take the next two. See, you're tightening it, okay? Don't keep gaps because the bottom has to come together. Can you see that? Yeah. 
So now how many did you use? I just want to see whether you use the 12. Let's see. Two, four, six, eight, ten, and then another two. See, I was going to leave the other because I said twelve. See, good to count and good to see that you're doing it right. Tighten, and this is the last one because I said how many knots? Four square knots, okay? Now you go to the next section and make another four. See? You're already getting a bump here. Neaten it out and take the next section and make another four knots, leaving the Two lazy girls in the center and keeping the C and D out. Because we're going to use the C and D again, but not just yet. After taking the next section of 12 and doing the same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12. This is off this side, this one. So you're going to do the same for this. One, two, three, four, five, six. And the side six. Don't mix it with the others. So I'm taking the center four to start. Keep this one out. Two lazy girls. And then we're doing this. So how many are you going to do? Four. Okay, then take the next. Keep this in the center. So you take the next. Don't get confused. Because all you're doing is you're trying to get the bottom stitch put together, knotted together, sorry. I wanted to say stitch, knit, knotted. We're doing too many things. Stitching and knitting and crochet. It's so good. So good at this age to do all that. Okay, girls, so you've got this and this nicely done. And now I have got this side done too. It will look like a mess, but it's not a mess. It will come through, okay? You just have to see it's already taking shape. Can you see that? It's already taken shape, but it's a, still a long way to go because you've got to put it in. So let's put it back here. Yeah, and put it down so that we cover it completely. See how much you have to cover? So once you finish the four sides, Sorry, the five. Then you've got to attach the five to each other in the same way. Can you see the gap? Yeah. So you take the first two, center two, one, two, 
and start making a knot where you put it You knot it together. See that? I hope you can see. So you do the same. Keep these two up. Take the next two. So I'm doing the same four knots. Okay. This is in between each of the 12. Lazy girls remain in the middle. Now you go to the next one. See the next gap is here. Take the two center ones first. Make them the lazy ones and then work with the next. See that your bottle is tight, okay? Put this. This is so good for our brain, you know, all the time you have to think about, oh my God, is this the cord I have to put back? Are these the C and the D? <laughs> it's so good for us. We are all going to grow old together, but not, but smart old. I hope it's going to be for a long time that we have to share this lovely memory cafe. So we put CND out. We finished with them, which is the closest. Let me work through. I was just going to say these lazy girls are lucky, but I don't like lazy girls. I like to be active. Okay, now how many did I do? Forgot talking to you. So it is one, two, and I didn't put these two lazy ones. This C and D, three, and the last one, four. Thank you, Lorraine, for having patience and for telling me that you can see or not see. Otherwise, I wouldn't have known. That's great. Now let's turn the bottle mm, and see where's the next gap. Next gap is here. So we'll take the next four, which is closest, two, three, I just put this in between my thighs so that I can hold it, hold the bottle upside down, and work, one, put 
put it out. Then these two, two. I'll write this down for you, okay? So if you cannot see what I'm doing or cannot, because there are so many chords here, just read and you will know. So it says four, 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 four that you're going to do. It's a little messy down, but, but so be it. At least we're going to finish soon. How many did I do? One, two, three. Last one. So you prepared so many things for Christmas and now this is your macrame basket for Easter. Soon you're going to learn. We finished with this now, okay? Next gap. Turn your bottle. Search for the next gap. Okay, I think we're coming to a close now. Any more gaps? There will be, right? Because here. Yeah. And yet another one. And then we're done. We're done. So good. And then we've got the years. The tail is exactly what um, Eunice showed us. Thanks to Eunice for showing us how to do a pom-pom. It's so easy wrapping the, the cord in between your fingers and for 25 times and then tying it and cutting it and making the pom-pom for the tail. So that is so easy. And we're carrying Eunice with us all along. So Eunice, thank you. So that's one. But the years I will show you and the years are exactly how we made the leaves. Let me just show it to you, okay? This is really easy. When I think of that, how much of trouble you'll had with the star of wonder, but all of you did it. And I was so happy about that. This is very easy though. How many did I do? One, two, three, four, five, six. So, oh, I've done four, four. Okay, I'm done. And now I think it's the last or it's over. Yeah, here there is one little gap. So this is the last gap. After that, we're done.
that's done. No more. Oh, that's great. Can you see? You're almost finished. So now you finish the bottom like this. We will shape it, okay? We push this out and shape it with your fingers. But before that, we've got to do something. We've got to. Sorry. I hope you can see. Now what we've got to do is, it looks a little shapeless because we haven't shaped it. We will Once we shape it and we put the ears, it'll be fine. So don't worry about that. But what I want to tell you is there is a hole in the middle, a small little hole in the middle. We've got to turn this inside out. Okay. But before we turn this inside out, we've got to cut it because you're not going to put so much. Don't cut your, uh, sorry, let me keep this bottle back first before it falls and slips. Yeah. We're going to cut this this much and we're going to turn it in so that we can either stitch this onto this like this, small pieces, so that it remains inside or you use the uh, glue gun to stick it inside, okay? But we're going to cut this and use the rest for the, for anything, anything that you want to, you will use the rest, don't throw it out. Now I kept it long like this and you've got this much of cord. Um, I cut each of these cords, which I will give you now, uh, 110 centimeters long, okay? 110 centimeters long. Now, if you want to make a bigger basket, you can still make a bigger basket because you've got cord. But if you want to keep it at this much, which is, I feel it's just a nice size because we're going to put eyes and the nose exactly like we did this one. See, it's the same size as this. So it looks nice. And see the bottom. So inside I have the cords which are going round, which I'll show you how to do it now. Okay, we're going to first let's cut this extra. And then we will push it in. So we're going to cut extra. So a little bit, say this much. I can use the rest for so many things. A pom-pom. A, a or something else. When I'm doing it, I'll show you, okay? Don't feel bad that you're, you're missing out on these. Never throw out your stuff because you're going to use it. Only the very small useless ones I throw out. So I've done this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this over. You can either turn it if you like the other side better. Then you you can also do this. One minute, let me show you. You can also put it inside. There is a small little hole where you can push all of them inside. Okay, this is the right side now which we worked on. You can just push it in. So once you push everything in neatly and pull them, it look neat. And once you put everything inside, please stick it or stitch it. If you don't have a glue gun, then you can just stitch it in. If you have a glue gun, it's easier to stick it in. Okay. Now you shape your basket. But you're going to stitch this nicely in, okay? So don't worry. I will stick I will stick it all and show it to you. You can even cut it shorter if you want.
once you stick it inside, then it will remain there and it will remain flat. Here you are. Once I stitch it, uh, stick these up at the bottom neatly, then I'll show it to you, okay? But this is your basket. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make the ears for it. Now that we've done this basket, let's just keep it aside for some time so that we do the ears, okay? So the ears also you've done before uh, because they're just like the leaves that we did, okay? Or the petals of the poinsettia that you all did. So, so you hold this one, take the center. I've given you seven cords to cut of 60 centimeters. So you take one, take the center of this. Excuse me, sorry. Center and you can. Half inch, half inch, that's one. And two. Okay. Keep this here. This under the. Yeah. Now, next one also, take the center. Hold the center into half inch. Push it up. So all six, if you do this, it's going to be nice. Now that you've got all six on this, take the top part, put it down, and you're going to make half it here on this, okay? You remember, right, how to make this? One, two. Then this one. One, two. Hold it close to this side, okay? The third. One. Now do the other side as well. <clears throat> Same thing you can do here. So you're making the ears exactly like how you used to make before. For so many things we did this, right? The leaves, particularly, of the poinsettia, the petals. Now let's do the side again. So you keep on doing one this side, one that side, okay? Complete your leaf. Sorry, the year.
So you can fast forward, okay? Because you, I'm doing the same things over and over again. What you know, you can fast forward and go to the next. So I'm just doing this year, both sides the same. And I'll do the second year as well, the same. And then we will sew it or stick it onto the main thing. Then we'll do the pom-pom, which you know already, and stick it at the back of the basket. And put the eyes and the nose. And then he'll be ready for Easter. Feed him with a lot of eggs in the basket. I think I did the same side the second time. I must remember now to do two more on the other side. One more I have to do on this side because I had done two on that. So when you find that the, uh, the year is big enough, then you wrap up. So to wrap up, instead of making three, four more lines, you don't need that. See, the year is big enough, right? See, nice and big the year is. So when you find that the year is big enough, then you wrap up like this, okay? So you take these side ones because you don't need them. And when you're doing this, don't leave it at the side. Hold it. Do it with the next, both. Okay, so you're taking two. Now you're going to take how many? Three. I have three in my hand and I'm going to do it. Then I'll have four in my hand. Understood? See? Now I've got how many in my hand? Five. One, two, three, four. Then I will take the fifth one and have the fifth in the hand. If they are small like this one, you can just hold them together. Look what I'm going to do. I'll show you. See? Now I'll take one make a knot and hold it in my hand. Hold both, this one and this one. Then you take the next and do it. Hold that one also in your hand. 
If it is small, do it only once. Okay, and hold it in your hand so that I have a small one here. So I'm holding it down and wrapping it around with this one. So don't panic if your thing is small. You can just hold it and take it along. Yeah, with the big one. See, I've got this small one. But I'm going to hold it with the others and wrap it around with this next one. So that I now, because your ear is big enough, you don't need to go and, and thick enough. So you don't need to go on and on with it, okay? See? Did you see that? Yeah. Now it's time to tie them up together. We've got a long enough here. So you can tie it. Take this big one here, which is here. And just go round. Put all of them neatly in the middle. And tie it up. See? Tie it again. Simple knot, okay? Take the longest one and make the knot. And there you are. So now we're going to cut these extra small pieces. <laughs> Got a lovely ear. You want to make the ear like this, you can do that. You want to make it straight like that, you can do that. <coughs> Sorry. I think I need some more. Th and then you either stitch it on to this. Or you can stick it on with your uh, glue gun. Okay. Veridiana, you can use your new glue gun on this. Stick both the ears. So I'm going to pause the video now because I'll make the second ear. You already saw how I did this one. And I'm going to put both of the ears. I'll stick it. Stick this and show it to you, okay? And then the last will come the, the tail on this side. Exactly how we made this one. So we'll have the tail on the other side and then we will decorate his eyes, okay? So now that we have this nicely stuck down, you can either stitch it together and then when once you do your ears, you can put the ears, okay? You shape the ears, either in or out, and stick it up. So I'm just going to stick mine here. It's so much easier when you have a glue gun. I cut this at the ends. And just put this like this so that it all sticks neatly inside. And now we can put it here. One this side and one this side. You have to be very careful because it's hot wax. I have burnt all my hands everywhere because of the hot wax. <laughs> so please be careful when you're using the glue gun. It's nice you have some gloves or something to protect you, okay? 
just a moment. Let me put my bottle inside to keep everything in place nicely. So let's give it some character. Now, you can either use buttons or little eyes like I have here, okay? Whatever you choose to. And make him look a little handsome. A little handsome rabbit. What's that, Joey? Some whiskers. Should we put some whiskers on him? I think so. Isn't he cute now? You can even use him as a bottle holder. See? I'm just putting the bottle so I want the bottom to be straight. There you are. Let me take it out. And let's put our eggs inside. One second. Disconnecting my hot glue gun and here it is a lovely oh i've got pom pom let me put the pom pom at the back glue is very hot And this pom-pom needs a little trimming. See? Cute. Just enough to give somebody. Someone special you can give this little rabbit to. Okay, first of all, I want to thank Lorraine very much for all the patience and the time that I took to make this. But here it is, macrame basket for 
your Easter eggs. Okay? So we have two little ones. One a little bigger one and this one. Thank you so very much. And I hope all of you are going to make it. Because it's very, very easy. <laughs>